Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. And this is a very political video, but it's very quick, very brief, very to the point. I'd just love your opinion on this. So very recently, Tony Blair has come out, the former uh, Prime Minister of England. Uh, he uh, came out and said he, he truly regretted his involvement in the Iraqi war with George W. Bush. Um, and he has strong regrets over it. Only two moments later, turn around and say uh, he will do it all over again. So that, that regret seems to have just gone down the drain. Uh, so that's one big inconsistency, but that's, that's just the bottom of the barrel now. So based on the information that we know, and these are the current facts, the fact of the matter is the Iraqi war was an illegal war. Everyone knows that now. There's no question behind that. The Iraqi war was an illegal war. I remember in 2003, millions of people around the world, in cities all over the world, protesting about the prospect of the Iraqi war. Uh, people already knew back then that there was no strong reason for that war to occur. It was avoidable and people were trying to stop it. Around the world there were protests. And these protests fell to deaf ears because I remember a few days after these protests, the first bombs went off in Baghdad. Now, of course, the argument was that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, which is a complete lie and a fabrication. And what we see is then Saddam Hussein was toppled as a leader and he was executed. The United States, the British government, went ahead with this illegal war. Knowing that war was not imminent, knowing that war was not necessary, knowing that this war would create chaos and destruction in Iraq and its surrounding regions. But they defied the voices of the people, these political leaders, George W. Bush, Tony Blair, and they went ahead with the war. And they wanted this war eight months in advance. So eight months before they even came up with their reasons, they wanted to go ahead with this war. It was a political strategy. And now, what, 13 years later, there's been countless thousands or millions of people that have died in Iraq as a result of the instability in the region. This instability in Iraq came after the US-led invasion of Iraq. All of this death and destruction came after the US-led invasion of Iraq. Did you know, before Saddam Hussein got toppled, suicide bombing was such a rare occurrence in Iraq. Now, we've been having suicide bombings at least once a week, pretty much, in Iraq, leading to countless, countless innocent lives being lost. And ISIS, think about it, ISIS. Who were ISIS while Saddam Hussein was in power? There was no ISIS. ISIS is a direct result of the US-led attack on Iraq. What do we have? We have Tony Blair and George W. Bush going to these foreign countries to attack corrupt leaders that have been responsible for the deaths of people, apparently. Well, okay, what about now? What about now that we have the facts and that we know these men went to war illegally, uh, not with the consent of other political leaders or the people, and they their actions led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in the region. Shouldn't these people now be treated just like Saddam Hussein was treated? Shouldn't these leaders be treated like Gaddafi was treated? Call me crazy, shouldn't these leaders be spending the rest of their lives in jail? Tony Blair, George W. Bush, and even the former Australian Prime Minister, John Howard, who also wanted a little play in this lie, should all be given jail sentences. And that's going off lightly because these leaders allowed those other leaders in the Middle East, like Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein, to be executed. So me calling for these guys to be, to spend the rest of their lives in jail is a very merciful retribution, is what I think. Guys, I want you to think about this. How are these leaders still free to walk around in the West? In, you know, where we strive and pride ourselves in democracy and justice. We have all these corrupt leaders, and here they are saying they'll do it all over again, and we're just sitting still. 
shouldn't we be charging through and breaking through these walls and forcibly grabbing these guys just like they did to Saddam and Gaddafi and shouldn't we be putting them to justice? Does any of this make sense to you? It definitely does not to me. And this just goes to show the hypocrisy and double standard of the free world that we live in. I like to have faith in that, but I know at the end of the day, the bottom line is corruption wins and the corrupt leaders are free to walk. They're free to dictate how other corrupt leaders are to be treated. But when the mirror is reflected back on them and we see all of their ill doings, nothing happens. Ridiculous. All right, just my two cents. That's my rant. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. And um, I wish you all a good night. See ya.